In previous sections, we've already discussed the value of inputting commands with a keyboard. Now, one key to efficiency in AutoCAD is to take advantage of keyboard shortcuts as well as the function keys. Now, the function keys act as toggles. They can turn certain drawing aids on and off. The two you will use the most often are the F3 and F8 keys. Now, the F3 key will toggle your running O snaps on and off. If I have a rectangle drawn here, and let's say I want to draw a line, and I want to draw it right to the corner or the vertex of that line. Now you see that little glyph there? It is a little peachish colored glyph. That's an endpoint O snap, a running O snap, an object snap. It snaps you right to it. I can do that automatically because I've pressed the F3 key and it's toggled my running O snaps on. O snaps are drawing tools that force AutoCAD to draw objects to very specific places on another drawing object. We're going to talk more about these later on, but in short, O snaps allow you to make sure you draw a line to the endpoint of another line. Now, there are other things too, like drawing to the middle, to a center point, etc. You don't have to guess or measure these points. AutoCAD will automatically find them for you and snap right to it. So if I press the F3 key, you can see in the command line that it's telling me my O snaps are off. See that little glyph? It's not there anymore. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to snap to. I won't automatically lock in to that endpoint. But if I press the F3 key, it turns my O snaps on, and now boom, it locks me right into it. I can go to any of these endpoints and draw exactly to it. Now the other one that you're going to use a lot is the F8 key. Now this turns on and off your ortho mode. Now this mode makes sure that you draw objects perfectly horizontal or vertical. So if I start my line command, pick anywhere on here, it doesn't matter. You can see I can draw this line at any angle that I want to. I'm free to do that. But if I press the F8 key, it locks in my line no matter where I put my mouse or the cursor. I just need to go left or right or up and down you know, above it. And it locks that line work in to being perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. Now my O snaps, if they're on, will override that, as you can see, and it will continue to draw things at an angle however I want to. Now the F1 key will turn your help window on or off. So as you see here, the F1 key will open up your help window. Now this gives you access to all the help files that can describe the different commands in AutoCAD. It's a great tool to find the commands you need or to get a better understanding on how they work. To close it, you can press the F1 button again or just close that with the red X button. Now the F2 button will open up your command line review box. F4 will toggle your 3D O snaps on. They're just like regular O snaps, but they're for 3D objects. F5 will toggle through an isometric planes for you. It'll help you to draw isometric drawings. We'll talk about those in another section, but that toggles through left, right, and top views. F6 will toggle your dynamic UCS off or on. And again, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. F7 turns your grid off and on. And your grid is a visual display. Again, we're talking about that in more detail in another section. It kind of acts like graph paper to help you draw. If you toggle snap mode on by pressing the F9 button, your crosshairs will snap to each point on your grid. Now this can help you create objects at very specific units. F10 turns your polar tracking on while F11 turns O snap tracking on and off. These tracking devices I just talked about will be explained better in other sections. Now the function keys turn on and off certain tools that allow you to draw more accurately. Make sure to watch the video pertaining to each of these tools for more in-depth description. In another video we talked about entering commands on the command line. We mentioned the fact that there are command aliases or shortcuts. These are typically one to two keystroke long entries that will start a command. Most of them are made up of the first letter or two of the command, like L for line or C for circle. Now there's a file that's known as the PGP file that you can edit to change these aliases. It's a simple text file that follows a set pattern for it to function properly. To get to it, you need to go to your Manage tab in the ribbon. Then go to the Customization panel right here, and then click on the Edit Aliases button. If you scroll through this list here, 
after all these semicolons, you can see all of the different keyboard shortcuts that are in here for you. And it starts right about here. A lot of the other text that you'll see up here at the top that I've just scrolled through quickly, just discuss kind of what's been going on. And this is updated for every release of AutoCAD. And you can see here, if you want to change any of these, is to just type in your shortcut, followed by a comma, just space over until you get to those lines up in this nice column, type in an asterisk, and then the command that you want a shortcut for. Now you can edit any of these if you'd like to, like 3A for 3D array. I can change these right here if I want. I recommend that you don't change anything here. Keep the list intact for now until you learn AutoCAD and become more familiar with it. As you can see, the list is very long and there are a lot of them here. I've known a lot of people have actually printed this out and studied it until they've gotten used to it. Some of them have even made just a shorter list of the commands that they're going to use. If you are going to edit this, scroll all the way down to the bottom and put all of your custom commands down here. I suggest though that you probably limit the amount of the changes you've made here because I think you're going to find that most of them aren't going to need to be changed. But a lot of them are going to work just fine for you the way they are. Once you're done, click don't save if you don't want to save it, or you'll have to click save to save it. But for right now, I suggest you just leave it alone. But I wanted to show you where that file was so that you could actually look at it and get an idea yourself of what the keyboard shortcuts are. Maybe take some time to look through it and say, okay, yeah, now I kind of get the idea of what they are. And that might help you out to use them better on in the future.